Okay, this is a Stonefly. I'm using these brilliant little tools from uh, Martin van Eyck in the Netherlands. Uh, you place it in the vise, turn it this way. I've got sheer 40 naught brown. So we just attach this tying thread and go over the tool make our way back. I'm sorry I haven't been uh, making videos recently but my old nemesis tennis elbow has reared its ugly head again. So we remove that and at the worst I can't uh, even hold a telephone with my right hand. But I hope it will improve soon. So once we've covered the tool with tying thread we need a little bunch of deer hair that we stack and we take this get the points I have to tie this on top of the hook shank. This not only gives uh, buoyancy but it also gives volume to the stonefly body. Now these tools come in three different sizes. I'll put a link uh, to Martin's website and uh, the uh, Tom Temming shop in the Netherlands where you can buy these. So that far, then I've cut a very a five millimeter strip of one millimeter foam. Now, what we want to do is fold this foam so one end is longer than the other. Then we take our scissors, and at the fold, we make two small cuts. Like so. so. Once you've tied that in, we'll trim off the ends like that. And trim off those. Then I've got a moose body hair, which I'll use for the tail, one of them. I'll pull that down to the side. And just secure that. I'll take another. And tie that in on the opposite side. Let's position it. And go up. And hook shank. Hook shank up over the body tool. Can remove those two. Let's take the tails, those are good. Then we can take our piece of foam that we prepared and replace this just with my tying thread back to there. Take our piece of foam and we place over the tool and we'll make the first body segment hold the foam in position go over three times and then we go under the foam make the second body position I'm using Veneyard brush coat. Just put a little on top, like so, just to strengthen the body. And then we continue Come under here and 
go all the way up as shown. Make the stone fly body. Then we'll take our whip finisher. in there just for safeties oops there we are just like that and we can remove our dying thread of the coat just like that then at the very back of the tool we can begin to push off the body like so and then we just roll it in between our fingers to round it off and there's a beautiful stonefly body for a big dry fly then we can remove the tool. Then I'm going to use a Mustard C149 SAP which is a the one of the new hooks. They're so new that we don't have packaging for them yet. So we just pop that in there. We go back to our Shear 40 naught and we just attach this lay a little foundation remove that and we just go to there then we need two more moose body hairs for the antenna Just tie these in. That's excellent. Go back over the ends, break those off, and we take the body, short side. Tie this in. Forward. Then, without cutting off your antenna, you can trim off the surplus. A little bit of foam there. Off. Excellent. Let's secure that a little more. We go back here. There's the body in position. Then we need the wings. Now, although Martin makes these beautiful wink burners. I will address these in another video. Uh, what I want to use now is CDC for the wings. This is the most amazing CDC from my uh, good friend in the Czech Republic David uh, Jedlika. Uh, beautiful select CDC. So we take a nice hackle Take a little brush coat again and I just want to put ever such a small dab of the brush coat along the edges and then you pull this through your fingers around the ends and it makes very very nice 
large stone fly wings. So I'll spin my tying thread anti-clockwise to flatten it. Split it. I've got a little Petit Jean clip with CDC. And I just pop that in there and spin it up. So we make a turn over there and take one of the prepared wings. This should be a little longer than the body. over there and take another one now we need to just trim out the stems of the CDC to cut off one of the antenna there but we'll sort that and then we pull the foam back and I want to pull everything back except the remaining antenna and just tie that down like so. Elementary mistake on my behalf. Come in and replace my missing antenna and go back. Break that off. Just make sure that Yes, looking good, excellent. Then I will spin my tying thread again anti clockwise. There we are. Split that up. Make another dubbing loop. This time I will take a little more CDC and just pop that in the loop. Spin that up. Yeah, and then we can go over the thorax, building up the hackle and the body. Like so we fold over the foam. And go over once, twice, right behind the hook eye, like so. Let's check that, that's good. And then we fold this over again to make the head. Finisher in that, just check it again. Look 
looking good and we can remove the foam to there One more finish in there. Remove the tying thread and that's the finished giant stone. If you enjoy the videos please like, share, subscribe and as always, thanks for watching.